Hi. Here it is. This is my Princess Kita outfit. I made it all by myself. I'm going to show you the back. It might look a little bit rough. However, again, homemade. <laughs> so this one I'm going to have to maybe see if I can get a safety pin or something to cover the this. Uh, basically, I'm wearing a strapless bra. I found this product at Joann's and I just wrapped it around the strapless bra itself. The skirt I also made. Um, if you see Princess Kita's, like, this is not how her ribbon looks like, but I'm not about to go so all the way down here. So this is going to have to do. Um, I basically made a huge triangle shape out of this color fabric, right? Made sure it fit around. And then I proceeded to take this same fabric and made a belt around the back of it. Took some extra fabric, draped it over here because underneath this is where all the disaster of me not being a professional seamstress comes in. But you can't tell because it's just draped over it. You can kind of see it poking out a little bit there. But I got this chain, this crystal chain on Amazon. Um, and I'm going to be putting on these gold jewelries as well. I think I'll check it later, but I'm pretty sure it's on the left, her left hand, right? And then I have this. It's also like a bracelet of some sorts. And I'm going to put it on my ankle if it's going to allow me to, which it did. And then we're going to put on her wig. Now... The wig I made myself. I don't have a bald cap. I will show you what that looks like, but this is basically the Halloween outfit that I made at home. This is probably, I'm going to say this was a success. Um, I could have done a little bit more attention to detail on the ribbon, but you know what? It's homemade. It's supposed to have a little hiccups and mistakes here and there. I'm going to seal this in the back, put on my wig, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Can you believe I... I, okay, I made this at home. I've never successfully made a costume before, but this is the finished look. Also, I'm missing a leather strap here um, that holds her hair. I was thinking maybe I could just use like a hair tie or a scrunchie or something, but here, why don't I just make shift of this for now? That way people aren't like, why is it so uneven? But this is what it is. Isn't it? It's kind of cute, right? I had my sister um, pin the back here. So this is it. I feel I'm channeling in my inner princess Kita. And um, my boyfriend is actually going to be Milo. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me see if I could give you a little bit of a tilt, actually. Um, let me know. Those are my socks. <laughs> Get out socks. Let me know what you think of this costume. I mean, you could kind of still see a little bit of the errors, but I'm not upset. I'm not mad about it. It's pretty good. Okay, so I just did this part of the makeup and what I did was um, I got a concealer and she has basically three things going on. A dot, one small line, a longer line that has a bit of a curve in it. So I put concealer in those areas, patted it in, and then I took some blue eyeshadow, the dark and light colors, and then I just dotted it along there. So, oh my God, it looks so cool. And then I put my hair in pigtails. After I put them in pigtails, I kind of like tied them into each other. And then I pinned it with bobby pins all around my hair. It looks kind of rough. Let's see what it looks like back here. Oh, okay. Not as bad as I originally thought, but there's one of the ponytails and you could see some bobby pins sticking out. So that is what it looks like. And here's what the back of the outfit looks like, right? Right? Not perfect, but better than originally. So I'm gonna pop on my wig and then I'm gonna show you the rest of my outfit. <laughs> Final look, my boyfriend just got here. He's dressed as Milo. I have everything, here it is. Ah!